Oh, I you're here. I, I heard my name. Did you? Oh no, I thought you heard the word leak. So you came running. <laughs> leak, Luke, much of a muchness. <laughs> so this is a leak I've known all my life. And I've come prepared with a towel. Wait, oh dear. Oh dear. <gasps> no. She's getting the mop and the bucket. I'm only going to believe it if we capture it on film. Oh my goodness. I mean, I want to be a cow yeah. to eat the turnips. I mean, these are amazing. Watch out, Stephen and Claire. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, no. I'm going to hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> right. Okay. Round, yeah. And head towards your husband. Okay, I'm going to like Preferably run him over. Run him over. Exactly. <laughs> he always puts my life in danger. So now I'm going to. So keep going. Watch on. out. Luke. Hello. Uh, hi, hi. Okay, come here, come here, come here. This is so exciting. Exciting because I need some excitement. we're going to open up something here. Welcome to Mapperton, our family home and estate in Dorset in the southwest of England. Julie and I took over running Mapperton a few years ago from my parents, the Earl and Countess of Sandwich. It's a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. This place is full of fascinating stories, extraordinary people, and endless repairs. So please join our family on this journey of a lifetime as we put all our efforts into preserving this magnificent part of England's heritage. unbelievably horrible storm today like it's horrific and uh, Claire and I were just sitting in there um, and I thought I think I feel like something's leaking like something's leaking and so we were like okay let's and it sounded like from here and sure enough there the wind is so bad it's pulling the rain obviously in this direction towards the house and you can see that a leak is starting to another leak right here and you can see where other leaks it almost looks like have been patched up but this one's coming through because of the force of the wind and the rain then being drawn in this way um, this one a little bit of a leak there so look at that leak anyway it doesn't surprise me because it was it is such a bad storm but I wonder what Luke is going to think. Well, I'm here. Oh, I you're here. I, I heard my name. Did you? Hear, oh no, I thought you heard the word leak. So you came running. <laughs> leak, Luke, much of a muchness. <laughs> but yes. well, leak so, is leak is more important. Oh, so God. here's here's this. Okay. And a little bit over there. Okay, this this is not a leak. What is it then? This is a dribble. This is not a dribble. You this is a leak. You call this a leak? Look at this leak? one. This is nothing. This is just condensation okay, on the windows. Everybody, let me that know is, if you that think is, that this is a dribble this is, or is this, this a is leak? This is absolute Is water leaking through the windows or is it dribbling through Honestly, the windows? Honestly, if you can't put up this with the odds dribble leaking. in a historic leaking house. Leaking through the windows. Then I think you've really no. got to reevaluate things. It's a, look, you because, came running. You heard the because, word leak. <laughs> well, I know because I thought it was like gushing water. I mean, when we, um, when we have leaks at Mapperton, you know, the ceiling is about to come down. The whole thing is bulging. There's the risk of the looking, loss of, looking of, for other of very fine plaster work. Whereas a little bit of condensation, no, that is not on, condensation. on the window that, that dribbles its through. way down to the bottom I bet you it's and up accumulates there in the smallest puddle known to I man. I bet you it's up there too. Something that an ant would enjoy. No. This is, is a um, leak. Is is not. That's a leak. A leak. No, there that's are there are leak. leaks at Mapperton. And that's a leak. And there are, anyway, I, I think found we, three leaks. Should we go check the other windows? More, like but we more important do. than that, well, we, I tell you what, when we do have a lot of stormy weather like we've got today, one of the jobs is to go around the house and look for leaks. So um, we we'll we'll go on a, on a leak hunt. All right. Or at least a dribble The hunt. Georgian windows usually don't leak, okay, do they? Okay, we'll, we'll kick off that do way. Do they? Okay. I mean, I found a couple more. They're really not dribbles, Luke. There's like, what do you think every window that has water coming through, which is pretty much every single one, is just a dribble? It said, look at this, I could just spot this. This is now on the paint here. So it's on the woodwork here, the paints. This is, okay. this is a leak. That is literally invisible. No. 
Okay. That's not invisible. I I'm spotted sorry. it like <laughs> Julie, look, five feet away. There is the smallest Right, globule. and it's going to ruin the paint. Well, it's not, because what you do in houses like this, Please. where you don't make a fuss about the smallest look thing, this, look at this. is you take your sleeve you and you just now. wipe it off. And you go, all gone. There's some cobwebs up there. All fixed. So we should probably get All fixed. Okay, but what, what we're supposed to be doing is going and looking at... <gasps> what are you talking about? That is another... It's every single window. I will accept that this is a, is a, it's a mini leak. In the context of maps and leaks, it's a molehill. Okay, it's but small. It's on the but work. we can see what's happened here, which is... See? There is a, a mullion, the stone mullion, which is the top part of the window here. Yeah. You can see has cracked. <gasps> And that's cracked from the no. outside, so it's one big piece of work. The mullion here in the middle <gasps> is also cracked. No. And will need repair, so this is a job for Darren. Um, but as a result, water is ingressing and dropping yes. down. Look at that. Um, and what's happened is that because this has been going on for years, it's affected the window, which means that the, the water has got in to the panes and into the, uh, into the metal work and it's rusted and that rust has caused this pane here to bulge out which has broken the glass and because the glass is broken you've got yet another leak of more water coming yeah, through. Yeah and by the way... So that, 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 that one counts. We'll, yeah we'll that add one that counts and the... what happens when you have to repair those you can't just repair the glass you have to take the whole window out isn't that you right? You do but the let's go... scaffolding goes up let's... the whole window just to repair that thing. Let, let's, go, let's go look at the site of some more possible leaks. These rooms are lovely and warm, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're really warm. Isn't this nice? Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Wait, oh dear. Oh dear. <gasps> no! Oh dear. Well, that, you, Judy, you, you know about this leak. That was a bit of an exaggeration. No, there. I don't know about this yes, one. Yes, you do. This, that this, is, this is the chimney leak in the chapel room. And actually we can see the water's coming down. And I just thought oh, there's a big drop just fell. Not only that, what? but we have... I didn't know about this. You think that I know mess. about this. I knew about the jackdaws. I didn't yeah. know that this was leaking that bad. Yeah, this I is, knew this to is... get ready for the yoga retreat that there was the jackdaw mess, which there's still another mess. Yeah. But I didn't know that this was leaking yeah. this badly. Yeah, this one is a leak. It's not a dribble. I'll, I'll, What's like this on I'll the give side you that. here? Okay. That one, we, we just get some paper and I'll send Julie up with a mop what? later. Mop? I am going to actually clean You're going to come with a mop? No, I'm the, all the sides of that She's going to bring cleaned. a mop. You heard it, it here first. I am going to. I am going to do that. So this is a leak I've known all my life. And I've come prepared with a towel. Because generally oh, all of the storms here come from the southwest. And this window is pointing south. And what it usually means is that water is blown through the top. We did have the stonework repaired recently. Yeah, I remember that. And and the truth is, there's only a dribble, which dribble, is let me see the tiniest little bit of wet on the top. So that's oh, yeah. fantastic news. So look at that. That just goes to show that when Darren comes and repairs the stonework on the outside, we can stave off the leaks and we won't yeah. need these anymore. Well, apart but from the west room. Let's go track the west room. That's what I think. Look, it's stormy. I wonder why stormy. Going up here, probably the sunshine, something. Oh dear, every time I walk into this room, I think tapestries. When are they ever going to get done? Okay, these windows look all right. I don't see anything. I mean, a little bit there, but like, I guess that that's, I would okay, call that look, a look, 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 like look, 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 there uh -huh. is a drop. Right. And it's about to go, oh dear. Look at that, that is. And that is quite a bad one. Is it, do you know so about again, that one? Again, this is the same problem as we have in the chapel room, which is that the rain just comes down the chimney. And if there aren't enough jackdaws there to block the rain, which there often are, mm -hmm. then it just comes in. That leak is, is definitely a problem, but it's one we've known about before. I can mop it up. And you are coming with the mop. She's getting the mop mm -hmm. and the bucket. I'm only going to believe it if we capture it on film. So, Stephen, No, because then I can, can go sneak sure in there and... Find some clothes okay. to dress up with. Um, let's go look at Marsh Farm roof. All right. We're in the yard at Marsh Farm, which is one of the farms on the estate. And this is the yard on the other side of the road, which currently has a huge uh, barn for storing hay. And it's got what used to be a cart shed over here. Now, this cart shed 
would have had various agricultural uh, vehicles and, well, carts uh, in it. Um, but these days it's hardly used for anything. And yet, a few years ago, we put a whole new roof on it, which are all the, the lovely slates that you can see there. But talking of roofs, and um, whilst I'm standing in a big puddle here, sploshing around in my nice Le Chimeau boots, you would think that actually things weren't too bad, but wind back two or three hours, and we had an absolute tempest at Mapperton. The rain was pouring down, it was bucketing, the wind was billowing. We must have had, I don't know, sort of 60, 70 miles an hour uh, gusts. We had trees down, not at Mapperton, but on the roads. And I've just heard that actually tiles were knocked off one of the barns. So I've come down to have a look. This is the second large barn within, I don't know, a few weeks that is going to need substantial repair. This is the lovely big old stone barn uh, here at Marsh Farm. And I don't know, it's missing something like 20 tiles. I'm hoping they've all fallen inside um, and I'm going to have to go and get the key to check. There's another tile missing at the other end. This is a lovely barn that we want to convert one of these days into what's called a camping barn, which is where you might have you know, 20 or 30 people that can all come and use the facilities, school trip or something like that. Right, well, we're here inside Marsh Farm Barn. And at the moment, this barn is used for storing equipment, for storing, storing mules, four-wheel vehicles for the estate. We've got a pile of logs. We've got... Um, sacks of, I don't know what we've got over here, all kinds of stuff. But one thing we've got, which isn't very welcome, is this uh, extraordinary hole in the roof. And it looks like all the tiles have fallen down on the other side of that wall. Anyway, this is going to be an amazing place for people to come and stay. It's going to be a huge open barn. I suspect we'll put in bunk beds. We'll have a lovely kitchen. We'll have all sorts of, of different things going on, uh, but most importantly, we won't have any leaks in the roof. But anyway, I'm really hoping that there aren't any more buildings affected by this storm because uh, that's quite enough repairs for today. Please help support this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. Hi everybody, um, I'm here with, of course, the most glamorous farmer in the whole wide world, <laughs> Sophie, um, who many of you have seen before. You really are the most glamorous, you talk, they are, they are, but enough of that. So Sophie is, um, she farms here at Matt Britton. Explain to everybody just a recap of what your herd do here. So behind us, we've farmer. got. Um, <laughs> so behind us, we've got um, these cows here are um, are what we call our replacements. So they're the ones that are coming into this into the herd in the spring, and they're living out here in the winter. We call this outwintering. So they're on what what you will see in a minute. Um, some kale, turnips, um, which we sow sowed this year, and then they're moved daily um, with some silage, and they'll stay out all season. Um, and it's just we find it better for the better for the cows. It's amazing though as I was walking up here because there's just like kale and turnips. Yeah, so really very diet. And can I eat it? So yeah, you can have diet. Yeah, 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 the can turnips. I, I mean we we spend a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every time we come there's, we there's a turnip eating. Okay, this one looks really good. Oh my goodness. I mean, I want to be a cow yeah. to eat the turnips. I mean, these are amazing. Oh my gosh, I haven't had breakfast, so I'm super <laughs> They're good, happy. aren't they? Yeah, that Just one's like, like jealous, look at That one, look. <laughs> so this is what they feed off of. Yeah, and it's a great varied diet for them. So they've got that, the kale, and then baled silage as well, which they, if they don't eat, we then chuck around for them and they lie on it, and, and then anything left will go back Incredible. into the ground. All right, so what are we doing today? Because as I eat this, we're They're coming a little bit you. closer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my fear of cows is starting to bubble up. Bubble up. 
So we're so, gonna we're gonna uh, at the moment Tom is setting up the water for them. So we we move the water trough oh, with them. Uh -huh. um, they're really good, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and we're then gonna set up some fences. At the moment, the children are opening up silage bales. Um, so that that will be their next break. So I'm actually gonna set up for two days today. Okay. So you're gonna help me though. Yeah. So we're gonna set up an electric fence. Okay. Um, we're gonna get the bales um, flipped over and then a um, uh, big ring feed around them to stop them sort of putting it all out of the place. Okay. Um, and then we'll let them through onto their new patch. So, so hopefully they'll Great. be happy with that. Um, but they are, you know, at this moment in time, they're probably 400 kilos. So, oh. um, yeah. So they're not as big as Albi. So Albi would be a, a, you know, a, a ton. What can I do? So we need to set up, so we need to get the um, fencing stakes and um, the reel. So we'll go and pick up the quad bike and then okay. go and pick up the um, okay, stakes fine. and the reel. And then we're going to put a new one exactly like this, just further down. Okay. Is that okay? And then we're going to release the hounds. Yeah, we're going to release them, but I'll let you stand back so I know <laughs> that you're not particularly keen on them. Right, you're going to drive, Julie. What? So jump on here. So, so, so wait, oh. legs over, straddle. Oh, you sit. You're going to drive it. I sit on this. Yeah, sit on that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So okay. then turn the key there. Okay. And then and um, then, then uh, this button here. This one. Yeah. So that's on now. And then the left is the gear. So you need to flick the your foot up underneath the left thing. You see this there? thing. The, um, this thing. That thing. Yeah. Up. Underneath it. Click it up. Yeah. yeah got there it we go. Up. Now we're in gear one. Okay. And then just I think the brakes on. So to release the brake, you have to do that. And then okay. um, just this is the accelerator. This so just, one. Yeah, just slowly. Watch out, Stephen and Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, no. I'm going to hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> right. Okay, where am I going? Um, so we're going to go round them, basically. Ra round Claire. And then back to where they are, okay? Okay. And you might have to um, go up into oh gear God. two. Oh my God, oh my God. Now turn left. <laughs> okay. Round, yeah. And head towards your husband. Okay, I'm going to like run him over. run him over. Exactly. <laughs> he always puts my life in danger. <laughs> So now I'm gonna so keep going. Watch along. out! <laughs> Crazy lady on the loose! <laughs> Crazy lady on a quad so bike. He head towards those stakes there, those okay. white things. And okay. we're gonna pick them up. Okay. I am yeah. rubbish at this. Yeah. There we go. And now we're gonna load these up on the Then do I put a brake on? Yep, so you put the brake on. Do I look loud? I feel like I should go like this, Sophie. Just like a little yeah. bit here, a <laughs> yeah. little bit there. Oh my god, it's who? It is poo, yeah. Oh my god, I just put poo on my face. Yeah. So <laughs> you should... I got... I'm not having any, thank I... you. Got enough. I literally smell like poo right yeah, now. I, can... I thought this was just... I can't just... smell you, I'm so used to it. <laughs> I thought that was mud. I was trying to be like, you know, super farmerish. Yeah. <laughs> you put cow poo on your face. Now I put cow poo on my face. Stephen, is it on my face? Barely. You can't barely. Okay. <laughs> we can change like, that. that. Okay, fine, yeah. All right, so now so we've got I'm these sitting on here, here being so lazy, yeah? These are fencing stakes. Yeah. I'm going to just get the reel as well. Okay. I've literally just put poo on my face. I love it. And this is going to hook on here. Okay. And then we're going to take them back to where we were. Are you okay with that? You're happy to drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy okay. to drive. So turn it so, back on. You might have to reverse a bit because I think we might run over um, Claire and Steve and otherwise. Okay. So, so, so turn, turn it on. Yeah. yeah. Turn on. That's on. And then, yeah. And then press that one there below. This one? Yeah. And then you have to stamp it back into reverse. Um, uh, so stamp that left foot down. Oh, like stamp down. it. Yeah. And it should come down to zero. Okay. I'm having a bit of a problem getting in reverse. Shake the whole bike. Okay. What? Have to shake the bike. I'm having a bit of a dodgy Honda. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's not. It's not really doing anything now. Shh. Oh wait. There we go. Oh well, yeah. We got it. We, we got, got it. it. Yeah. We're okay. In reverse got it, now. Got it, there got you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now you can press that one. Okay. Okay. So the I'm going muscle. on this side this okay. time. Okay. Okay. Pressed it. Yeah, and now we need to go into reverse. Okay, so okay, we're going to okay, stamp okay. it down, and then there we go. Okay. We're in reverse now. Okay, which yeah. one was gas? Um, okay, that this one, one there. But, um, this one. Oh! Oh! So, sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I nearly. Right, so nearly now we need to get out of reverse. Uh -huh. Up. <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on tight. Yeah. Up here. Go right to the other end of the field. Look what a good job they're doing. They're so good. <laughs> I'm here with um, Evie and with Harry, and they're amazing. 
helpers, but you're pretty much farmers. You're junior farmers, yeah. right? I mean, they are, so they're not even helpers. Let's give them the right term. You guys are junior farmers, right? Yeah. You do know quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you are, you're done with school. Yeah. Luckily, and you get to come out to the fields. Yeah. And on a scale of, and by the way, do you eat the turnips here? Yeah. Yeah, they're so delicious, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So delicious. All right, so what are you two going to teach me right now? Because I don't know anything. How to open a bale. How to open a bale. First, you have to take off the plastic. So what's the next thing now? And um, so you cut these, but you leave one of them. Okay. So when you push it over, it doesn't all fall apart. OK, you do that. You do that. <laughs> So okay. you have to rock it. Okay. Oh my god. You guys do that. Okay, ready? You guys do that by yourself? Yeah. What? Well, together. Well, I know it's together. Wait, oh, they seem to be coming over here. What's happening? Um, they're going through They're the jumping the fence, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Cows are coming in right now, and they're not supposed to. I mean, they can, but like, and they're like behind me. So I'm just going to, there's a fence here that I'm, I don't even know if it's switched on. I don't really care, but obviously they can jump this fence too. Uh, but I'm going to get over. I feel that they can actually smell, see, they can smell my fear. That's why they're coming towards me. I'm good. I'm getting over this fence. All right. This is what I have been waiting for. This is the package. Um, that I've been waiting for. Right here, inside here, is something very exciting. Somebody tipped me off that, uh, for, on something that was for sale on eBay. This is from eBay. Thank you, you know who you are who tipped me off, and I'm gonna open this in front of my husband right now. Luke? Luke? Hello. Hi, hi. Okay, come here, come here, come here. This is so exciting. Right. Exciting. Exciting because- I need some excitement. We're gonna open up something here. Okay. This is where I want to open this, right here. For, okay, what okay, have we got? So, somebody tipped me off on something that they saw related to your family uh, on eBay, and then I looked at it and I thought, I have to get this, and it was a bargain. Right, so this was on eBay, and the description said, Hinchingbrook House, history and contents, and then it said something like, and some signature of an Alberta sandwich. Not sure what that means. And sure enough, this, it, I got it for a bargain. So Hinchingbrook, and look at, obviously I'm doing my dissertation on Alberta. Alberta sandwich, right? So they said that it was in there and I just wanna see if she's written anything else. So this, do you have one of these? This was by the eighth Earl. This so, is- So a, I, I do know exactly what this is. Yeah. It's brilliant. This, this is a copy of the book that used to be in every bedroom at Hinchingbrook. Which but this is an which, original. Which provided some of the family sandwich history and then talked about all the works of art <gasps> and things that were hanging. So for example, in the hall here, we have a few pictures that we still have here. For example, the Lily of Jemima Countess of Sandwich, uh, we still have, nice. we've got Oliver Montague, not sure we've got him anymore. We haven't got the beach, we haven't got the Ramsey. Quite a few of these pictures have, alas, gone. The fourth Earl of Sandwich by Leotard, alas, we don't have that anymore. Um, but there are others here that we do. Oh look, there was a, a Lily of Sydney Montague. Um, mm. I don't remember that. Oh, a couple of Van Dykes. A Titian. My goodness, there was a Titian at Hinchingbrook, but I happen to know that that's not true. Oh. It's Charles V, Emperor of Germany, by Titian, which would be worth a gazillion pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but there is the picture what? behind us. That is the picture, but it is not Titian. Oh. So despite being referred to as a Titian here, it isn't a Titian. Right. Anyway, this is amazing. So yes. these, all of these books, there would have been probably 20 of them, were put in, in bedrooms at Hinchingbrook so that guests who came uh, had some, Wait, I just saw some reference there. and some history of the family uh, and information on, on... Look at, look at, look at. There's little bits of her writing in here, Alberta. So she has 
George Charles, born December 29th, 1874. That's who Alberta married. And she writes there the ninth Earl, because this was yeah, her and book. Then, and then she says that she married Alberta, which of course... He married Alberta, her, yeah. Daughter of William Sturgis of, of New, New York. York who was born in, on September the 15th, 1877. And there then, you go. No, and that, no, no, that is the it. Chicago connection. Well, the, and also, well, the Chicago connection is because Alberta was actually born in Chicago. Right. So then you have, so it looks like Alberta has written here, owners of Hinchingbrook, 1916. She's put in George Charles the ninth, born 1874. And then it says hostesses, hostesses. of Hinchingbrook, which would have been the wife of whoever the Earl was at the time. And she's, she's, put, and she's put her name down. And so Mary if we had an equivalent... Or taken over 1960. If we had an equivalent book for Mapperton and it listed the hostesses, you'd have to put your name there. I'd have to put in there. Yeah. And she, but she also writes, in 1916 is when they, I guess that's the date that they found, that they came. Look at founder, William the Conqueror was founder of Hinchingbrook? That's correct. The, the convent, which was... Well, the established in, in 1070, so there, was, there were previous buildings on the same site. Anyway, everybody anyway. claims link back to William the Conqueror. But look at Alberta's put, Alberta of... Daughter of oh, oh, William Sturgis of New York, 1877, 1905. It say so, she, so she's filled it in in the hopes there's going to be a reprint of this book and that someone will put her name in. So maybe, right, Julie, that's over to you. I know, but isn't that fantastic that... It's Somebody tipped me off, and we, you you know, this was Alberta's book. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it. Thank you. No, no, it's no. my present. <laughs> no, it's mine. I do. I've got I another copy. I just copies. literally cannot I've believe that copy. that's who I'm doing my dissertation on. And, um, and, and there, there, she, there is. she is. Anyway, I'm very, very excited. Just because I'm doing my dissertation on Alberta, I'm really pleased. You have this, pleased. this connection. I have this connection. And there she is. And I always think when I come into the staircase hall, she's always looking down on me to make sure I'm okay. Hopefully you are. I am. Thank you.